A little quick tour of the showroom this morning. Now this is what we're calling showroom number one now, because if you follow our channel, you have uh, seen showroom number two in its uh, progress stages, which is now pretty much complete. We wanna do a quick video this morning on this uh, cross cart. So if you're looking for a fun toy, we have two of these available. One is black and with some purple graphics, and then this one here. These are imported. They're called cross carts. Basically has a street bike engine, a roll cage, coilover shock suspension, uh, kind of primitive in a way and kind of up to date in a way. I don't know exactly how to word it, but uh, these things are some kind of fun. They turn crazy high RPMs. Uh, both the units we have are dyno tuned. The other one has the stage two tuning, so it's a little bit faster. That one's $2,000 more than this one. If you look on the website, you'll see this one posted. The other one's getting ready to post. Um, and it'll tell you a whole lot of specs. I have not had a chance to do much with it. AJ has uh, driven this one, and then uh, Alex, one of our good friends, has uh, operated this one and uh, put it to its test. And he's hard on stuff, so a blast. It will throw rocks off these tires at a gazillion miles per hour with how hard with how hard and fast it revs but really cool really really cool units then come over here to this Kubota 4x4 diesel this has a power dump bed push button camo trim this was owned by a 70 plus year old man and purchased brand new from one of our local distributors very low usage very low hours and as you can see condition is flawless Upgrades are the roof package, windshield package, bumper package, as a front receiver, the power dump, power steering, it's an RTV X900, HT-X transmission, which is a hydrostatic transmission, meaning you do not have to shift gears, 4x4, digital display, we've got both keys, and as you can see, well, and vents in the windshield, which is pretty cool in case you want to add doors, which it will accept the door package. He had the bed sprayed with a bed liner, and you can see it's not tore up. And the telltale sign on these things is the undercarriage. You know, keep clean them up pretty good, but you can't hide the abuse on the underside. And this one had some leaves and, you know, typical little splashes of mud, but... When it gets caked up, it gets all on the muffler and the exhaust, and you can't clean that stuff off. And that's not been painted, that's original. So all the bolt heads are still shiny. This was not a off-road, abused, used unit. Independent rear suspension. And again, it is diesel. Pretty cool. These things are uh, reasonably quiet. A lot of guys do hunt with them. It's noisier than a gas, or it's definitely noisier than an electric, but it has the torque and the power, which is extremely impressive. I don't think you'll find a used unit in this condition anywhere other than a brand new one. Definitely maintained well, serviced well, locally owned, no rust, no abuse, even the front bumper is not tore up. I personally got one of these, which will be for sale probably next year. I usually replace it every couple years, and it doesn't have but a few miles, like literally a few miles, and we've already scratched it up worse than this. So, um, But, you know, we do use it in the woods, so this one's had a better life. There's a electric car, two-door G-Wagon, another two-door G-Wagon. Lowrider project. Tesla. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that with the charging system. Another Kabuta here. This tractor I'm going to get ready to do a video on. Classic Ford truck and bass boat. Just a few of the items this morning in the showroom. Thanks for watching. Check back anytime. 
And of course, you can see in the background through the windows, the parking lot is jam-packed full of inventory.